Welcome guys. Let's let's get into this. Let's go. Welcome. Welcome everyone. Once again, New Earth Rising at World Unity Week. We are blessed and full of joy to be here to share with you transforming our divided world into a united home for humanity for all life. Here we are as a little microcosm of the macrocosm of the Earth family that we constitute humanity in unity with all life. We have right here between us in our little rural integral home campus of the Home for Humanity movement in France, our, our biological son, Arjuna, together with our soul brother, Enzo Ika, celebrating this um, World Refugee Week with this brother who brings the soul of the Congo into his refugee home, which is in Turkey, and our beloved soul daughter, uh, Tatiana Speed from California, oh, sorry, from Vancouver, Canada, and who uses both of them, who all three of them, who use their art, their music, and their souls to transform our divided world into this united home for all life. And we want to bring a bit of that spirit to you today, building on the one home journey that we started yesterday with you at World Unity Week. Welcome to all. Let the journey begin. Imagine, imagine embarking right now, right here on the one home journey 2020 to 2030. Yes, imagine. Imagine embarking right now, right here on the One Home Journey, 2023 to 2030. Imagine yourself as a co-voyager in this collective future-building expedition to transform our divided world into a united home for humanity and the diversity of all life on our home planet. An expedition of seven years and seven days for the next seven generations. Ima imagine embarking on a seven-year journey, a voyage to every country, on every continent on Earth, our one home, rediscovering our unity with all of life. Connecting as Earth citizens, home to home, culture to culture, across all continents, spending seven days of co-learning and co-creation in each country. To build a regenerative and inclusive future, personally, locally, and globally for the next seven generations. Friends, this is his one home journey we are embarking on together a collective quest of Earth citizen and local global movements to heal humanity, regenerate the Earth, and celebrate the wholeness of life. A journey of honoring, listening, restoring, and restoring. A journey of uniting and co-creating. A journey that manifests our highest dreams a journey to build on the gifts and wisdoms of our diverse cultures. A journey to harvest the visions, innovations, and contributions of Earth citizens and transformative organizations worldwide to shape our shared future. The One Home Journey is initiated by the Home for Humanity Transcultural Movement for Planetary Regeneration it is powered by the ever-growing alliance of local homes for humanity who are pioneering systems change and creating peace and unity across all continents. 
This is a journey of collaboration with multiple global movements and organizations who are working for a regenerative and inclusive future. It is a journey aligned with unity earths, purpose earths, and the emerging whole movement of conscious collaboration for planetary transformation. It's a journey supported and accompanied by concerned and caring Earth citizens, co-voyagers of diverse ages, cultures, and backgrounds in all countries, like all of you here. Or together, as humanity in unity, we can transform our divided worlds into a united home for all life. Or Together, as humanity in unity, we can co-create home on Earth. And the journey begins right here, within ourselves, in our hearts and minds, with our individual and collective power of imagination and intention. Let us begin by unleashing our highest imagination to visualize our optimal vision of our beloved Earth home in 2030, 2030. Can we commit right now to fulfill that vision by 2030? Can we start living that magnificent future right now in the present from the inner home of our own lives to the local homes where we live, the organizations the communities we work in with the conscious commitment to transform our divided world into a united earth home for all life. Imagine, imagine holding that shining vision and our conscious commitment for the next seven years and living it daily, starting right now. Imagine connecting home to home, vision to vision, across all cultures and continents, beyond all man-made divides in mutual support and collective intention. Imagine. I invite you now all to imagine. To imagine your vision and commitment for 2030 while you're here. Our dear brother, refugee artist, human rights activist and artist, author and visionary from the DR Congo today coming in from Istanbul where he found refuge. And so. Help us to imagine. Imagine. Let me remind you that there is only one home for all humanity. Welcome. Imagine to heart flying over the darkness plains. Imagine they are crying about our endless pains. Imagine, imagine that the future for this earth to them as engines. For healing and oh 
bengi bino nyuso boya to zonga ndako ndako yo to bengi home for humanity na bengi bino baso boya to zonga mboka e ndako yo to bengi home for humanity e pa to uta e pa to uta e pa to uta Imagine yours is one of them. Who would they or theirs be? Imagine her together. You set each other free. Imagine free hearts showing a path toward a great place. I just imagine humanity growing into one infinite kiss. How beautiful can we be? We live in the peace world. Yeah. ce que tout le monde dit tout, tout le monde et personne ne parlerait à personne quand je pense que tu penses que moi je ne pense pas à toi c'est tu penses tu penses que moi je ne pense pas à toi mais fais penser que c'est toi qui ne pense pas à moi waiting you at home you and so and what a vision you are holding imagine there is but one home for humanity for all of us you calling us from istanbul reminding us of world refugee day some days ago knowing that your mobility is restricted and yet you are holding this vision for 2030 and well beyond freedom of mobility for all of us and this is friends our theory and practice of change if For seven years, we seven billion plus humans can hold our highest visions and keep our conscious commitment and connect home to home across all man-made divides. We become an unstoppable force, an unstoppable force and wave of integral transformation. We become overlapping ripples, accelerating the exponential momentum towards all systems change and as we become this irresistible wave more and more people and movements join in with their visions and commitments as more and more people live this new paradigm in the present in their daily lives from the inner homes of their hearts and lives to their local homes communities organizations all together for one earth home we make the shift 
We make the shift from a world of alienation, division, competition, and exploitation to an inclusive, regenerative, peaceful, and joyful Earth culture based on the interconnected wholeness of life. And now, friends, pack your bags. The journey is well on its way. We need co-voyagers, friends. Let us journey around our one home, the Earth, to experience the one home journey. And let us merge first move together to Kurdistan and Switzerland. Hello, my brother and so. My name is Jihan Elchi, and I too am a refugee, like my brother Enzo. I am from Kurdistan, and you will say that there is no such country as Kurdistan, because they divided up our country and our people and cut us up from each other between Iraq and Syria and Iran and Turkey. But let me first say, I am honored that my story, which is actually not only mine, is being shared in such a beautiful event at World Unity Week on World Refugee Day. Because today in many societies, collective stories are still accumulated instead of individual stories. And these stories contain not only the living individuals, but also the subconscious of that society, its past and its hopes for the future. For this reason, the expression of the story in me is a little different from the story of others in my society and others around the world. Let me tell you a little bit about me. I was born in the Kurdish part of Turkey where I grew up near Van in a little village called Chichekli, which means the village of flowers. And I loved flowers and nature. I wanted to be a doctor, but I became a biologist. When I was in high school, I became politically active when I realized how the limitation of our rights, the denial of our language, our ability to speak our own tongue, even in school or in home. Our division from each other was keeping us captive. I found that art was the most powerful way to express our desire for freedom. I started writing plays and I became an actor and we created an association where we use theater, music, and art in order to activate our people. To connect the Turkish about our desire for freedom. Of course, this was very dangerous. And it had to happen sooner or later. I was imprisoned. And like my brother Enzo, who was imprisoned for singing songs against the war in the Congo, I was imprisoned for daring to do theater in my own language of Kurdish. I too was tortured like him. I was sentenced like him to many years in prison. At one point, my lawyer said, this is the moment when you are on bail. You need to escape. Otherwise, the future will be very grim for you. You will not survive. That is when I left and made the passage from my beloved home to Switzerland. 12 years I have been here, but still I'm an outsider. Still I am not considered Swiss. Still I have no papers. Still I have no freedom. But I found a family, an earth family, through a woman called Elif. Elif is Turkish. She should be my enemy. But she was my lens into the world beyond my prison cell. She was a Turkish woman who had befriended all refugees. First Enzo Ika, 
when they made their film together called Refugee, Here I Am, sharing the plight of refugees coming from around the world and being stranded in Turkey. And then a film about a Syrian refugee, all of them musicians. First Enzo, then Maisa from Syria, and then writing her PhD thesis about young children who escape their countries as underage migrants and all are stranded without their families and without hope. Together, we learned how to become part of the Earth family of home for humanity. We created our own small home for humanity in a small communal garden in Bern, Switzerland, where we live. When I could plant trees again and grow fruits, and vegetables in my own garden, surrounded by other people like us in their small plots, all coming from different countries looking for a new home, I began to feel alive again. We also created together a festival for films, for art, for music, so people like us could find a sense of belonging called Ethno Kino Festival. Here, I begin to believe it's possible to have a dream for the future. So when you ask me, what is my hope, my vision for the future? I would say that sociality comes to the forefront of societies like us, which are not based only on individualism. My hope for the next seven years is this. No matter how much evil and injustice there is on earth, I will keep alive my belief that justice and goodness are strong and virtuous. Freedom is beautiful, my friends. I love the beauty in each of you. I love you. I wish you aram, peace for everyone and peace on earth. Thank you. Aram, thank you, Gian. Gian Elchi, thank you to bring Kurdistan and the Kurdish people into our hearts. Thank you for creating a garden of hope in Bern against all odds as a home for humanity. Thank you for showing us together with your wife and life partner Elif that no place is small enough to make a big ripple in contributing to co-creating home on hers. And from your garden of hope, we now move to the anthem of home. We move to Tatiana Speed in Canada, in British Columbia, who composed the anthem of home. A Canadian music activist, she will now help us travel our home planet. And her song invites us to step into co-creating home on earth. And while we listen to her incredible song, keep feeding the chat with your visions, your perspectives for the future. The stage is open for all of us for co-creation. Tatiana, take us high.
starts within. It starts with me. It starts with you. Can we turn to ourselves and see ourselves anew? What do we love? What do we cherish? For what do we stand on this beautiful planet, this sacred land? It starts with community, creation, culture. Can we build together, my sister, my brother? It starts right here, right now. Put the seeds in the ground until life springs up all around. And we can walk through our garden, this home that we make. Together we change humanity's fate. And from the local to the global, from the eye to the we, from the north to the south, from the west to the east, all cultures, all borders, all peoples, all life, we can come together and ignite a home for all to which all belong. This is the prayer. This is the song. Let's build a home right where we are. Tatiana. All cultures, all people, one planet. You've taken us home. You show us the power of culture and arts as we are co-creating home on earth. Thank you for this immense work. And this song, friends, Tatiana is now recording with many musicians together from across the planet. She's inviting singers in. This will become a hymn for the journey. It will make us fly. It will make us travel. And we are now, and today, we are traveling to India. We're traveling to Koro, one of the most fascinating women empowerment organizations on the planet, a home for humanity in the slums of Mumbai. Namaste. <laughs> Salam. So lovely to be here on World Unity Week with all of you people from all around the world. We are very, very happy to share our story and our vision for the future. All of us women over here gathered to meet with you from all the slums of Mumbai, all the different slums of Mumbai. You see, in the past, we women were very powerless because our system is all based on men. Anything that goes wrong, it is always women's fault. What could we do? All of us had migrated from our poverty in the villages to come to the big city of Mumbai looking for jobs. But here it is very difficult to get jobs. Our husbands would be full of despair and frustration. They will drink all day and they will beat us and do bad, bad things to us all night. But what can we do? But little by little, we learned that there is a different way. We women began to meet quietly, quietly with each other. We came together in our huts and shacks in the slums and started sharing our stories. 
that is how we discovered that power does not lie outside of us power lies inside ourselves once we found our power within we realized alone there is not much we can do but together there is much much we can do that is when we formed the women's action task force we came together and any time of the day or night if any woman was being raped or beaten we would call each other and appear on the site we would stop the man from beating the woman we would even go and wake up the police because in india police is always sleeping only day and night and say come and do your job but it is not enough to stop the man from beating the wife we must change him and transform him so once we had found our power within and our power with we ourselves though we are not educated we became counselors and we would sit together with the husband and wife and find a solution to the problem many of our men were transformed and became our biggest supporters not all some men will never change we tell them leave your wife in peace and go away let her be in peace but so many men were working with us for transformation but then we found the most important what we want to do is to change the paradigm in our society we wanted to find not just power within and power with each other but power to transform the world that is what we have done we have created a policy forum where we women start a fellowship to investigate any issue in our society which is burning and come up with a policy solution for that we women are standing for elections we women have created our own government with no corruption with no bad politics where our only wish is that every single home should be safe and everyone should live with well-being whatever their background and culture that is why we have joined the home for humanity movement each one of our slum houses is a home for humanity because here we find our power within our power with each other and together our power to change the world and this is our vision for the next 7 years for all of humanity to live like this in equality with our inner power our collective power and our power to create a better future for all <laughs> namaskaram thank you namaste assalam alaikum thank you to the core of women in mumbai in india thank you to home for humanity in india they show us how in co-creation we are building the future they set an example for how we are co-authoring a one earth story and one earth is a vision and title of the song of arjuna that you are now going to his to listen to a poet philosopher mystic and agent of transformation one earth
Celebrate the wisdom of life. Understand the past we come from. Build a future for everyone. Put a smile in every soul. Tell a tale that has to be told. Take the bullets out of our gun. Listen to my melodies. Been 25 years, I'm searching for meanings of peace. For as long as I remember, I've been asked where you from. I still believe the same. I say I'm from my mom. Imagine a world with no walls, no fears, no borders, bombs, no wars. It's possible. Just take a look at your other. Forget race, embrace. We're all sisters and brothers. Not born to waste, but to praise and hear Earth the mother. I know you can feel it in the bottom of your heart Millennia wisdom being torn apart We gotta come together, change our fate, join our journey And it starts right here, right now With your feet in the earth and your hands to the sky Just allow the truth to unfold And ciao uh. We are one, let's stand together on this earth We can co-create our home Celebrate the wisdom of life Understand the past we come from Build a future for everyone Put a smile in every soul Tell a tale that has to be told Take the bullets out of that gun Understand the past we come from Build a future for everyone Put a smile in every soul Tell a tale that has to be told We are one Oof, incredible! We are one, let's stand together on this earth. Arjuna, thank you. And you should have seen us dancing here behind the screen and rocking on the one home journey, which we are traveling. We have traveled today only to few stations on the planet. We've been in Kurdistan and Switzerland. We went to India. We are now traveling on our one earth journey, one home journey. Going up to Nigeria, of Nigeria, the province to Pax Herbals, Father Anselm Adodo, one of the great social innovators, and Pax is also a home for humanity in Nigeria. Father Anselm. Ekaro, Ekaro, Ekaro. Very good. Welcome, welcome to Ibo province. Welcome to Africa, the cradle of human civilization. We have been waiting for the one home journey and here you all are, people from around the world. Let me very briefly tell you my story because I am more keen to hear all of your stories and your visions for the future. My name is Ansel Madodo and when I was a very young boy, I asked my father, as I'm sure all of you do, what is the purpose of my existence? He said, my son, it is not for me, a father, to tell you what is the purpose of your existence. You must find out for yourself. That is what set me on a path to find out the purpose of my life. I came to this monastery, this Benedictine monastery in this province, and here I found that I would become able to find the purpose of my life. I used to walk in the villages and in the forests around, and I saw the deep poverty and suffering of our people. But what could I do? I was only a monk. I could only pray for my people, but I could not help them. I was not a businessman to give them a job or a doctor to give them medicines. But one day I must share with you, I was walking in the forest as I do every day. But this time I saw a small girl I had never seen before. I asked her, who are you? Where is your family? Why are you here alone? But she did not say a word. I told her, please wait. I will send my brothers from the monastery to help you find your family. She just smiled, but she gave me some herbs that she had plucked in the forest. I took them with me. When I reached the monastery, there was a family that had come with their father. 
They requested me to say the last prayers for the father because he was dying. I said prayers for him, but then I suddenly remembered the herbs. And on an intuition, I said, make a soup from these herbs and feed your father. Maybe it will help him. In just three days, this man came back on a bicycle by himself to thank me for saving his life. This is when I realized that I had found the purpose of my life. That small child, that girl who I had never seen before and who we never found and never saw again. She had vanished. Was she an angel who had come to make me realize my purpose? To make us all realize that nature is our healing and our medicine. That all of our forests, all of nature is full of healing plants and medicines that want us to be well and live in harmony with each other and with all life. That very day I asked my abbot and in our garage, we started a laboratory and we decided to call it Pax Herbals. Mm -hmm. I went into the villages to find the indigenous elders who still remembered the ways of the old medicines. I went to find the youth and I invited them, the young men and women, to come and work in our laboratory and to learn how to make the medicines like in the old days. In the rest of our country, in the rest of our continent, th the people are fighting with each other between tribes and ethnic groups and religions. But here, we are working and living together, healing ourselves with the power power of nature, learning the wisdom of indigenous knowledge and creating the future based on the power of peace of mother nature. Pax Herbals, with the power of nature, we can heal ourselves and our earth. This is my vision for the future and for all of us. Thank you very much. And Ekaro again to all of you. Ekaro, Baza Anzel Madoro, and thank you, Rama, of bringing him to life into, uh, into our shared space. We experience the power of story as we are writing our new stories as a species, our common story. That is why we are here, and that is why we are traveling the one home journey to each and every country of the planet on our home planet Earth. And now, take a jump. Take a jump seven years ahead. Take a jump into 2030. The man, your vision, your commitment to this crucial state of change has been manifested, has shown its fruits. Look around you. First looks how the place where you live is feeling, how it is flourishing, how your own potential, your own capacity to build future together with many others has been actualized. How does that feel? Let us together go on a little journey to share the visions and the manifestations that we are holding. Let us be for a while in 2030. Let's fill the chat with your visions. How does it feel to live in the future, to bring the future into the present, into the now? Arjuna, how does it feel? It feels better. I see us using images, words, and symbols, what some people call art, to connect communities, cultures, people, souls, smiles. I can see that. Tatiana, what do you see? I see homes around the world as expressions of community connection to the earth, to each other, 
uh, becoming like lighthouses around the planet, both locally sourced and grounded, but also connected to this international global family that we are generating here. Thank you, Tatiana. And so, how does it feel on your side? What do you see? And love and harmony. Because, as I always say, and it's true, together we will reach the heights of love and peace. It's 2030 and I look around and I see that literally every vision that has been expressed and felt in this room, in this unity earth space, devoted to one earth rising and all around us all these visions have been fulfilled in mutual co-creation through our individual and collective commitment and the earth is indeed shining with this unity with all life and what i see as someone who spent my life devoted to peace building justice and governance is a new form of governance has emerged in which all of us are co-creatively involved and whose only central purpose is the well-being and flourishing of all life on earth, the indivisible family of life and how glorious and liberating that is. Indeed. Tuning into 2030, I feel we can live the new story that is already coded and seeded in each and every one of us. And I feel now from the bottom of my heart into the collective power and potential that we are holding to connect across all borders, to connect as united homes, not united nations, but united homes where every Earth citizen is living his own passion, vision for the future in cooperation with each and every one. And I feel the play of life being honored Again, humanity taking its rightful place into a flourishing ecosystem of life, building the future as one. We are one. Yeah. And I want to invite all of us to share our perspectives. And as you tune in, but you're doing already for a long time, but as you tune in on a more intensive level for us to hear some of the voices in the space, we have to... Jana helping us through her immensely beautiful song, Earth's Family, to feel what it means to live on this planet as a family. together with a new vision for humanity to co-create a united earth family and with this vision and our shared intuition we have the potential to bring peace on earth to fruition we imagine a world where we take care of all of life and with this intention we become beacons of light so let's join together in manifestation to bring about a yeah. transformation from the heart of humanity we come together in unity to co-create a united earth family from the heart of humanity we come together in unity to co-create a united earth family we come together to unite we come together to ignite unity for all forms of life i feel the one We come together for the fate of the earth. Every single one of us is needed to rebirth a new community, a new earth family, a new reality and unity for all humanity. If we educate, we can innovate, create a blank slate for the world to co-create a new fate of societal change and renewal. Indigenous knowledge is a key, is a tool. 
from the heart of humanity we come together in unity to co-create a united earth family from the heart of humanity we come together in unity to co-create to arise, regenerative future for all beings, all life. We nurture cultures of peace and integrity. We celebrate the beauty of our infinite diversity and from every corner of the world, creative expression paves the way for a future of intimate connection. The leaders of the day, the leaders of tomorrow, we have seeds to sow, visions to grow, places to go, and now we know it's time for you now to co-create. Hey, this is Paulina. So we have just lost Rama Alexander in Arjuna, but let's take this extra few minutes where they're Bye. logging back to put all our comments into the chat box and really use this space that we opened here together to dive into the future and into our commitment that we are ready to take, willing to take, longing to take, to make our common vision of a United 2030 and a regenerative future come true. What is our commitment? What is our vision? And how do we imagine the world to be in 2030? And maybe Tatiana would like to bless us with another song while we're waiting for them to come back, please. We are, we are right back. Can you hear, can you hear us, Paulina and Tatiana? Oh, yes, we can hear you. Perfect. But Tatiana, keep your guitar ready, and we still have one more very special song from Enzo to close us for today. But first, we want to get in the rural countryside with many summer storms. We got cut off for a moment. But Tatiana invited us to experience ourselves as an Earth family, a family not just of humanity, but a family of life with all other life forms. So in that spirit, let us hear what a few of you had shared. Unfortunately, our chat has got a lot of it. There's so many homes for humanity from Nigeria, from Zimbabwe, from Nepal present here. But there are also so many new uh, people from the Unity Earth family who have never experienced home for humanity before. And we would love to hear, where is this landing for you? Do you experience yourself as a member of the Earth family? Do you experience your own life as a home for humanity? Your own home, your community as a home for humanity that's working towards this vision of one Earth culture, of one united Earth. So can we hear a few of you uh, for the next few moments before we celebrate uh, this beautiful session with Enzo's closing song. Let us see, we are going into the gallery view to see who might be ready, if you could put up your hand, if you would like to share just briefly, Ben, you always know 
who we might want to call on. As I said, there are some of our own community, but we would love to first hear from you, and then maybe some of our community members would come in to feed uh, in what they have, um, how they've received this. There is a hand Someone up has from raised Eliana. Their Eliana has a hand up, and you can um. You Eliana. Can video. Go ahead, Eliana. Super. We have about five seven minutes, so if everyone speaks briefly, we can hear many of you. Please go ahead, Eliana. Um, I would like to to share with you that I was in yesterday's meeting as well as today's, and I'm a Meridian student. And I have been trying to figure out for a long time what to do with my Global Healing and Educational Network project. And with all that I'm learning and this experience that I'm having with you all, I realized that I had to change this from what do I do and I don't know what to do to what do we do? And what can we do together? And what ideas will emerge to create this? And that's changed everything for me. And I want to thank you. And become part of this somehow. Thank you. Meridian is so dear to us. I have the honor of being on the faculty and teaching, often using the arts. So please, very warm welcome. and we will know how to co-create with you for sure. Uh, Lisa, you have your hand up. Transformative artist that you are, therapist, artist, global creator. Please go ahead. Lisa Longworth. Just a moment. We just wait till you're unmuted. Oh, if you can really? find Lisa Longworth, you can find Lisa Longworth. And just one moment to express the incredible joy to be together as a family co-creating through creative expression. It was so beautiful and I send you all my love and just uh, enjoy and in my deepest gratitude, we are doing this and it's so, so beautiful. So thank you for that. And I just send everyone my love. Thank you for your beautiful, supportive contributions to the Earth family of Home for Humanity. Davis had many contributions in the chat and uh, wants to raise his hand as well as Nancy. So let's hear Davis and Nancy. Nancy Chomix and Davis. Yes, yeah, so if we could take two more contributions from Nancy Chomix, who's raised her hand, and from Davis, who would like, and Kedar from Nepal. So we hear briefly from the can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Can you? Yes. We Go ahead, you, Nancy. Okay, great. Well, I just tuned in at the very last minute, Tatiana, and oh my heavens, I could not discern. It was beautiful, <laughs> and I could not discern if you had quote memorized the lines or if you were in and out of memorizing the lines and like going with rap and just going with spirit and getting the rhyming words at the end and then you go back to memorize so I, I, it was gorgeous it just was creative to the nth degree to into infinity and beyond and i want to know if you knew at the moment if you were consciously singing what you wanted to sing or if you got like channeled or guided by something else or someone else over thank you song was coming through me no i did memorize i did memorize it yeah it's all in my brain <laughs> yeah it was actually inspired by um a program i took with rama and alexander 
um, imagining what home on earth can look and feel like, and um, and it just came out as a as a as a free form rap. But it's amazing when you're memorizing something. I can't like start in the middle of it. It has to be from the beginning, and it just kind of comes out of my mind in a flow. Okay, and thanks. To, uh, to mention that, uh, that song, Tatiana, was a course you took at Meridian University. So, Oliana, it's very possible uh, to co-create with us. Uh, wonderful. And, and Tatiana is gifted to create songs at the spur of the moment, as we've discovered in many of our performances with her. Uh, Kedar, you are unmuted. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, Kedar, Hello. we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, Hello. Kedar, we hear you. Go ahead. Namaste. It was a lovely, lovely shake. Hello? Yes, Hello. Kedar, we hear me? you. Fine, go ahead. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely time, and thank you for organizing this meeting. I attended a meeting yesterday and also today, and I'm really touched and inspired by your story when you are sharing the story from different uh, uh, countries and different people, like in India, Mumbai, uh, the story of the women. And similarly, I also have a story with me uh, because as I am born in a uh, very, what you call it, Dalit community in Nepal, I was discriminated. I experienced from my childhood, socially and personally. Uh, I, I also like to share my uh, story with you maybe sometime in other meetings. That would be good. It's really uh, uh, it's, uh, inspiring to me. And also, it's one home journey and humanity, home for humanity, and co creating uh, uh, art for everyone. All we are human beings, we are shame, and we are working for home for home, culture for culture, and building the community uh, who near to us is really a nice. Uh, journey beginning to me too. And thank you for this opportunity to be a part with Home for Humanity. And I've not seen my colleagues today, maybe they are busy in somewhere. And I also like to uh, participate in 90 90 challenge. How can I participate uh, in it? Just if you will uh, give me some idea, and I will be a part of 99 day challenge uh, campaign. Thank you. Our story is so interesting, and promote us about our 99 day challenge and commitment which we shared yesterday, and at that we off. And you're going to be part of it because your new home for humanity, taking all your extraordinary work and framing it showing how you are, have already been for the integral home for humanity in Nepal and in the world is going to be a key highlight of our 99 day challenge. Before we hand back, I want to just acknowledge, you know, that one home is only to be possible for with all of you being co the co Okay, it seems as if we lost them again. So considering that we have only three more minutes to go. I are back. Guess the suggestion. Oh, they're back. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, challenging. I just wanted to very quickly acknowledge that alongside our wonderful global partners like Unity Earth, Purpose Earth, World Dream Day, World Future Council, we also have just joining us uh, Jill Carr Harris from the Ekta Parishad and Jai Jagat movement. We won't have time perhaps to hear her speak, but just wanted to acknowledge that on the one hand, we have these global movements, but Ekta Parishad is bringing together all of the Dalits, 
like Kedar's community, the Gandharvas, all of the landless laborers, the indigenous Adivasis of India, demanding and restoring their rights to our beloved Mother Earth and their equality with all life. So thank you for all these partnerships which will make this reality of 2030 start happening right here with our visioning and collective mm. intentions. And as such, we also want to invite you to join us in the 99 days challenge that we are taking on together. Polina is putting on our challenge as we've crafted and launched a new page on our website describing the challenge from 33 new homes from across all continents to 44 co-voyages on the one home journey to a funding for our um, humanity fellows who are helping us to build this journey up for seven years all together looking into seven generations. We are coming to a conclusion gently, and we do that poetically, artistically, as we have done it. We are ending with Enzo's song, but before that, Arjun and I give you a little harvest, tune in what we discovered all together today. Working for the well-being and flourishing of all life. We are one. Let's go create a home. Tell a trail that has to be told. We are one. From what I what from what I can do to what we can do. We are one. Let's go create a home. Tell a tale that has to be told. We are one. Let's build home right where we are. Let's build home that nurtures all of life. We are one. Let's go create a home, the tale that has to be told, we are one. I want to be part of the 99 days challenge and the seven year journey. We are one. Let's go create a home, tell a tale that has to be told, we are one. And what a joy to be together as an Earth family. We are one. We are one. And with that, we are moving to the song of and so, Ika, let's stand together as one. I didn't expect any calls. <laughs> Could we please have the final song of Enzo to conclude us? Let's live together with our differences. Let's make hope for humanity in our heart. No black, no white, no yellow, no brown. But you may, yes. They De nos queries à la mort de nos malades. within us, between us, and with all forms of life.
फोकस होते हैं Make home for humanity. Look at this way. Look at this way.